Hello YouTube, this is Abba Kimaha here and I'm talking, I'm going to be talking about today how to use Mission Control. What is this Mission Control? Mission Control is the replacement for Expose and Space. It's actually a little bit better than you guys think. So I'm going to open up a few apps right now. So anyways, here's Mission Control. What Mission Control is, it is the subset of spaces in Expose. It's actually a little bit better. So what I can do here, I've got different apps. I've got Text Edit open, Safari, and Pages. We actually make another uh, window. Uh, let's go to CNN. So you guys can see it nicely, it nicely animates and organizes the windows for you. So the cool thing is, I can actually just take this and just drag them into it. And if and if I drag this document right here, this pages document right here, I just create another space. And you can navigate them by doing gestures. And the last one you have is dashboard. So anyways, how do you get the full benefit of Mission Control? Well, you can guys get the full benefit, because here's the cool thing. The cool getting the benefit of it is like you can like do other stuff. I'll explain that. Anyways, you see this button right here, that's full screen. So what I just did, I just made Safari full screen. I can go back to my other stuff. And a nice smooth easy transition. So if I have a mission control, you guys can see each each one has its own space. Which is pretty cool. And if I uh, disable this right here if I can. By the guys, I had a little bit of a little bug. So anyway, I'm in mission control now. I'm in full screen, so I can gesture through nav gesture, do really good cool gestures, navigate through each one smoothly. It's really cool. You guys can see. That it does, a, it does a very nice job of keeping your windows up to date. And what I can do if I want to remove a space, I can just click this, a little X. It'll take it right back to desktop one. If I want to get out of a window, just click that button. I'm back in the, I'm back in the space one. So it's really cool. Mission Control really has re-enabled. We can, we can uh, you know, we can figure out how you do spaces and uh, expose together. Now the other thing is, I'm going to mission control, and I can say we automatically rearrange them space for different, our most recent use, something like that. It's pretty cool. And here's another cool tip I forgot to mention. We go to mission control here, close that app. I'm going to go back to Safari for just a minute. So, what I can do now, I'm going to go right here for just a moment. So, the cool thing is that I can do, I can right click it, go to options, and say assign to this desktop or all desktops. So if I say this desktop and I go to like another app, push pages, it'll take me right back to pages. I'll do that again. Desktop two, pages, back to pages. It's pretty cool. So let's try another thing. Let's go to assign to all desktops. So I'll go to desktop two, click Safari. It'll actually just take me right to Safari.
So it's pretty cool. The full screen mode is very cool. It's very vision control is pretty simple to use. Very cool gestures. And like I said, if you want to get rid of space, just click that. Actually, hold on, I'll just close this for a minute. It is pretty cool. So anyway guys, that was how to use Mission Control. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave a comment on my video page.